Arsonists who believe 5G caused coronavirus have attacked 53 network towers across the UK. Here's a summary of the article. Reckless conspiracy theorists post a risk to human life by burning down phone masts, EE has warned. It comes as arsonists who falsely believe 5G caused coronavirus have attacked 53 network towers across the country. Celebs have been slammed for sharing the conspiracy theory, including Brits Jason Gardiner and Callum Best, who posted similar claims that 5G can impact the immune system. The 60-year-old host has now insisted he doesn't believe the theory that 5G has caused coronavirus is valid, and was simply looking for answers. Crackpot arsonists have torched a number of 5G phone masts in the UK in response to online conspiracy theories. There is absolutely no link between 5G and coronavirus. There is no science-based evidence 5G is harmful to human health. A spokesperson from the UK's Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport said, We have received several reports of criminal damage to phone masts and abuse of telecoms engineers apparently inspired by crackpot conspiracy theories circulating online. This post received a score of 30,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. What makes me laugh is that they are probably all aware of the conspiracy theory and communicating about it using their mobile phones on a 4 grams network. Edit, I'm going to bed. Please would all conspiracy theorists stop sending me links to the evils of 5 grams now. Yeah, but 4 grams only causes a mild flu so they'll recover from 4 grams flu. I'm still recovering from the Morse cold. Don't forget the cathode radiation from watching TV in the past. It literally rots your brain and burns out your eyeballs, and Perkins. How in God's name do people begin to think that 5 grams or any electronic device could cause a virus? I keep getting sponsored ads on Instagram pushing the conspiracy. I'm not surprised it's gaining traction. Sponsored ads? Who is sponsoring them? It's companies running them, but I don't know who owns them. Russians. Why run risky ops to sabotage comms infrastructure in a rival country when you can get their own citizens to do it for you? This guy espionages. Some influencers are promoting this false conspiracy. Zobiland star Woody Harrelson has been warning his Instagram followers about the effects of 5G and shared a video labeled, Meanwhile the Chinese are bringing 5 grams antennas down. Lol exactly like his character from 2012. That was just him portraying himself. How can you be this stupid? Unfortunately an old friend of mine has turned into one of these paranoid conspiracy theorists. His FB page is littered with this 5G crap. We lost touch but he was generally an intelligent person. Makes me wonder how many normal people there are out there that think like this. It's only the disenfranchised that go down this road. I don't think people who are otherwise fulfilled in their work, their love, their family, their hobbies, are going to be looking for reasons to be spamming Facebook all day with vitriol. It takes a smart enough person to be inquisitive at all enough to seek out information rather than just dedicate their life to Bud Light and fantasy football, but it takes another level of intelligence, maturity, emotional stability to challenge yourself critically, filter out what's real from what's not, admit when you're wrong, and at this point in time, a decent level of tech savvy to understand when you're looking at a.ru phishing site masquerading as real shit. I think this is also the natural consequence to freedom of speech, social media, government propaganda etc. Persuasion, manipulation, bias has always been occurring. Truth has become almost impossible to discover. I really don't know what could possibly be done to combat this. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.